So in an effort to get uh, better breathing, I'm planning on plugging up the timing side holes going into the crankcase. There's two, one here next to the cam, and another one over here, which is the oil, the old oil return uh, hole. In order to do so, I've asked some advice on what size of uh, plugs to use. And I got two choices here, recommended here. This is an eighth inch uh, National Pipe Thread plug. Uh, if you're not familiar with National Pipe Threads, and unfortunately I'm becoming very quickly, I'm not quite sure what an eighth means. It certainly is no dimension that I can find here. So in considering using this plug here, I think it might work. It's awful close to the cam bushing. I'm very concerned about that. Even if I tap it, I think it'll come very close to actually breaking into the, the bushing area. And then here on this old oil return, while there's a little bit more material over there, it looks like I'll probably have to drill and then tap for that. This was the other size plug that was recommended. I think it was actually meant for this hole here. As you can see, that's not going to work whatsoever. I've now got an abundance of these plugs. I'll keep those as souvenirs. So I still don't have a solution on how best to plug these holes. Of course, you could person with a lathe could machine up something and jam it in there. At this point, I might just leave them open and just hope all the appropriate breathing goes through uh, the reed valve that will be on the back of the crankcase here. As we turn to the inside of the crankcase, the preference is to block up this oil return hole. This will be the new oil return hole, and because the flange has been machined away on the opposite side of the crankcase. This hole is now exposed. We want to block this one up. Again, this plug, far too big. So I did try to find a quarter 20, I believe, set screw. Unfortunately, it's not much going to be setting there. So I'll have to find a, bit, a different solution in that spot also. I'm going to probably have to try like a 5 16 set screw. And I think I'll have to, I'll still have to drill out a little bit, I believe. I will be using something like JB Weld to keep that well in there. This is another set of combat cases that I have. As you can see here, the uh, oil return was definitely plugged up using a, a set screw of some sort. I'll try to ascertain what the uh, dimensions of that one are. In the meantime, I'll just keep on looking for a solution for plugging these holes up. I definitely need to plug up the oil return hole. We'll see if I actually am going to uh, close up the crankcase holes. This set of crank ca uh, crankcase halves that I have here were modified using the old Brits method. In that case, uh, the recommendation for that, from that site was actually to drill additional holes into the timing case from the crank, uh, interior of the crankcase into the timing case to allow the uh, pressure to breathe actually through the, uh, the cover over on the side. Um, my preference would be to actually actually replug these holes back up if I use these cases, uh, because I don't want uh, any pressure any any pressure from the crank case itself into the timing case. Amazingly, the plugs that I did find actually will fit perfectly in that in these two holes. So I'll have a use for those plugs after all.